Let's go across to our guest joining us. Nirva Mehta is editor in chief the pamphlet. Tetsin Punawala is political analyst, leans towards the Congress party, joining us in the studio today. Big thanks to both of you. Nirva, how do you look at a lot of these comments that have come in? Uh, possibly there has been a rethink from those officially associated with the Congress party, like for example some tweets have been deleted, some have been played down. But uh, what do you make of the narrative that you know the uh, how should I put it uh, the poor illiterate you know, uh, no, non-meat-eating, uh, I don't know, vegetarian uh, uh, North Indians are choosing the BJP. So somehow they are bad and the BJP is also bad. The verdicts are wrong. Plus, uh, versus look at how progressive and, uh, you know, everything else South is because it is choosing the Congress party. All right. Uh, Shivani, so uh, let's, let me start with, since food is one of the major concerns, like meat eater versus non-meat eaters, let me give a food-related pun and example only for, for this one. Say, Congress has been used to eating the sweets, okay, the sweets, desserts, mithai, basically, and their teeth have gone so, so bad that now, every time they, they uh, you know, serve these sweets, they end up getting diabetes and they'll eventually, uh, you know, their organs will also start failing. That is exactly what is happening with all these these caste cens census and the, the Sanatan attack and all these North versus South debates that they are trying to divide India on. Uh, uh, for, it, it, for Rahul Gandhi, he has gone from Bharat Jodo Yatra to the complete Bharat Todo Jai. Uh, what is this? If on one hand, you're talking about, uh, you know, joining India and how he wants to connect India together in one, go one uh, you know, group and make this Padyatra from the South of India to the North. And on the other end, there are party leaders and people associated with the party who are constantly making these jives of, uh, you know, North versus South and mm. uh, as if holier than thou. And South of India is as much part of as is the North of India is. No, I don't uh, think that that's just exactly the point that they're making. Of course, they would not argue that uh, North is not part of India or South is not part of India. They're seeing the fundamental no, they do, issue. They, Yes. No, 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 no. They do have this, uh, the lot of these undercurrents. There are a lot of these tweets, uh, uh, some by quite prominent people who talk about uh, the secessionist agenda uh, of uh, of an independent South Indian state. Yeah, there I know that exists. So many. I, yeah, I know, I know yeah, yeah. that exists and, you know, people latch on to everything to kind of further their agendas. But I don't want to give that a lot of space. The more issue, fundamental issue I want to discuss is this scene. I mean, what is this mentality and when are we going to get rid of it? It's 2023 for heaven's sake that, you know, if you vote for the BJP, you're some bukananga idiot and, uh, you know, shouldn't be taken uh, seriously. Is this how a political party should function? And I'm saying political party because there are people associated with the party, Congress, officially who are saying these things. So, your show is called Plain Speak, Shivani. Thank you for having me here. So, I'm going to do some plain speaking. You know uh, very clearly that I do want the Congress to win and I do want the BJP dislodged. There's no doubt in my mind I think BJP is not good for our country economically and otherwise. But let me ask some questions, plain speaking, to all these intellectuals in the Congress, the party I support, or these uh, so-called influencers on Twitter, etc. Are people of Mizoram non-meat eaters? Non-Hindus? Uh, sorry, Hindus, cow belt, Hindi speaking people. What happened in Mizoram to Congress today? Today, what happened? There the results are Congress got one seat. It, it, it lost its tally. Look, stop. Sanatan Dharma, and I was on your show when the Sanatan Dharma issue happened. And I told you on your show, this will affect Congress in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh. Forget the immorality of calling somebody HIV or mosquito. It's a terrible thing. You don't do that. Just the political sense, it makes no political sense. Now, forget the immorality of dividing North and South. For one second, let's leave morality out. Just think of it politically. The BJP is a big force in Karnataka. In Telangana, they got, them, got eight seats. With, with Last time, they got one or two assembly seats. They got four Lok Sabha seats. With eight, how many are going to they go get in Telangana? What are you doing? If our agenda and my agenda is to defeat the BJP, are these the issues that the BJP is going to lose on? These... And these people, one of, the, one of those guys in the professional, one of those guys who calls himself professional or whatever, was the first guy who went about saying black swan, grey swan, green swan, orange swan. Aray, amara badak nikal diya BJP ne. 50 seats ne aayi hamko. Aray, kya kar rahe ho? Is, and, and none of these guys are Lok Sabha material. Not one of them will win a Lok Sabha material. They, they hang around at Khan market, they want to... They, they, not one of them is a Lok Sabha material, people who say all this. Will any person who contests genuine elections with people say this? 
what kind of rubbish is going on? The other dude who was, and I'm using this word with responsibility, who was tweeting what uh, Uday Nidhi Stalin was tweeting, he is in the position where he is, because his father is a big uh, minister, Mr. Stalin on your screen, who tweets and says whatever he says, how is Mr. Stalin oppressed? First of all, I do think people are oppressed in this country, no doubt about it. But for Mr. Stalin to talk about it, he's the goddamn sports minister because uh, his father language, is the chief minister. Language, language, language. No, no, no. Goddamn is a good word, not a bad word. Uh, no, goddamn. Not a bad word. But okay, he is the sports minister because his father is the chief minister. So because my, his grandfather is Karuna My Nidhi, question sir. is this. Uh, are some people just lost in their own Lala world land where they, for, for some reason they are unable to come to grips with the fact that uh, whatever that 10th class person you are mocking, he doesn't care anymore. You know, that's made... Uh, who you feel is illiterate and comes from the cow belt doesn't care, doesn't give a damn to take your word about your opinion, the intellectual opinion anymore. Now language, but language, you're using that. I'm, I'm, I'm borrowing from you. But uh, I'm just saying that there seems to be a class of people who are fundamentally associated with left or uh, you know Congress politics in India. They tend to do more harm to the Congress party, but the Congress party also doesn't clarify its stand enough. For example, on the Sanatan Dharma issue, they could have done so much more. The left, because fundamentally, uh, and this is my question, the Congress believes in this. I don't think it believes in this, but the left loonies are destroying the Congress. And I use this word with a lot of responsibility, left loonies. They are absolute loonies. There is one Dugal Sa, one day is a farm neta, one day is cephalogist, one day is a Bharat Jodo spokesperson. He actually went on a on a channel yesterday. First of all, I don't know why channels call him. He's an expert in everything, master in none. His own political party didn't get one seat. He himself lost a deposit. He went on a channel and said, oh, the reason Congress didn't win in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh because OBC, you know, they don't ABC ko seriously. Nahi liya. Nahi, the people took it very seriously. Chhattisgarh is a tribal state. OBC, Shivra Singh Chauhan, sir, before him, Babulal Gorji and Uma Bharti ji were OBC. It won't resonate. These guys who sip champagne in Khan market and live on cheese platters actually tell people what to do. They are not connected to the ground. That they is the fundamental problem. They don't only want problem. to tell people what to do, who to vote for, who is better for India or for the idea of India. Uh, they also, you know, uh, are the gatekeepers of Indian democracy. If you don't do what they like or you differ from them, then democracy is in danger. We know those narratives also. Every time BJP wins a state, democracy is in danger. Congress wins, democracy So Mizoram is, is in danger because or not because BJP didn't win. Yeah. But Congress also. So I'm confused. Is it in, See, I'm that's what I'm saying. Too, People I'm need narrative. It's easy to defeat the BJP. Speak on issues. Unemployment, jobs, Web 3.0, creating new opportunities, women uh, participation. Sounds simple, but Nothing. it's not happening. But you know, Nirva, my fundamental point is also this. Uh, you know, in the US or in any democracy that sees regular uninterrupted elections there are always regions that are associated with a certain pattern there are red and blue states in the us but uh, there are also comments like basket of deplorables by hillary clinton it doesn't go down well the fundamental rule in politics is to never to mock the voter but we are seeing this repeatedly what is this because of why do you think this happens where uh, you deride the voter because of the political choices he or she is making, when democracy is about those choices. It is uh, one of the problems majorly with Congress itself, in fact. Uh, they are not very good with accepting defeat. Uh, they, they are the, the textbook definition of a sore loser when it comes to accepting defeat. Uh, for uh, that, that stems from the very initial, the initial jive which Manishankar Iyer started Chai with Wala. Chai Wala. Yes. Uh, right. So th for them, it, they cannot get uh, you know wrap their head head around the fact that a, a man with humble beginnings uh, is now holding the most powerful position in the in a democratic democracy that India is, while their the Nehru Gandhi family, which has uh, somehow they thought that this is the family business and. Uh, uh, what was uh, essentially theirs is taken away from them and they deserve it because of their, the, the family they are born into.